Now let us move on to the next subtype that is perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense is used when an action that started in the past is still continuing and the duration of the activity that began in the past and continues to the present is also expressed with the time expressions like since, for, all day, all morning, all week, etc. Since is used to refer to the point of time at which an action started means if we know about the beginning that is the, I would say exact beginning of the action then we use since for example since Monday since Tuesday since 2008 since 15th of this month etc and for is used to refer to a period of time for example for two hours, for two months. Now let us see the example of present perfect continuous tense. I have been studying since 11 a.m. I have been studying for two hours. It has been raining all day. Now let us see the structure of present perfect continuous tense. The structure of present perfect continuous tense is subject plus has or have plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing plus object. See children, kindly note that the name of this tense is present perfect continuous tense. Means for perfect we are using has or have. For continuous we are using first form of the verb plus ing. And in order to join these two we are using the word bwn been. So overall the rule becomes subject plus has or have plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing plus object. In this slide we can see the rules for present perfect continuous tense. With the subjects that is I or you we use have been plus first form of the verb plus ing. And with singular subjects we use has been plus first form of the verb plus ing. With plural subjects, we use have been plus first form of the verb plus ing. In this slide, various examples of affirmative, negative, interrogative sentences are given. And also the usage of present perfect continuous tense is also given. Kindly go through all these examples very carefully and See the structure of present perfect continuous tense in each of the different types of sentences. A few more examples for you of different types of sentences using present perfect continuous tense. Kindly go through these examples for your better understanding. Although we have already discussed the rules and the usage of present perfect tense and present perfect progressive tense but in this slide I have shown the difference between these two tenses. Kindly read the usage as well as the examples and then you will understand the difference between both of them. For example look at the first one. To, we use present perfect tense to talk about something that started in the past and that continues up to the present times. For example I have been waiting here for 40 minutes means the action of waiting for 40 minutes is complete. Now present perfect progressive tense if you remember it is used to refer to an action that started in the past and is still continuing it has not got finished. For example this tense is used to emphasize the continuation very important word continuation of an action that started in the past and continues to the present. For example, I have been waiting for your call all day and even now also I am waiting. A few more examples are given. Kindly read all this so that you may understand the difference between these two tenses. The next in the category is past perfect continuous tense. Now let us see the usage of past perfect continuous tense along with examples. 
past perfect continuous tense is used to express a past action that already started and continued up to another action or time in the past for example the boys had been playing soccer for about an hour when it started to rain it is also used to emphasize the duration of an activity in the past richard needed a holiday because he had been working hard for 6 months past perfect continuous tense is also used to express cause of something in the past for example he was tired because he had been jogging now let us see the structure of past perfect continuous tense in case of an affirmative or a positive sentence the structure is subject plus had been plus first form of the verb plus ing in case of a negative sentence the structure is subject plus had plus not plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing in case of an interrogative sentence helping verbs will come first that is had plus subject plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing in case of an interrogative negative sentence again the helping verb will come in the beginning that is had plus subject plus not plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing again a few examples are given kindly go through these examples children please note whenever we use perfect continuous tense there is a reference of time expression with the words like when before by the time for or since this is a very important hint for you to identify this perfect continuous tense let me it be a present perfect continuous or past perfect or future perfect in all these three types of sentences you will find time reference with the words like when before by the time for or since kindly go through these examples of past perfect continuous tense in this slide i have given a small activity for you so try to fill in the blanks using the past perfect continuous forms of the verb given in the bracket here in this slide the differences between past continuous and past perfect continuous tense is given kindly read the examples as well as the usage so that you may understand the difference between these two tenses in this slide the difference between past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense is given past perfect tense is used to express the action that is already finished when another action happened for example when she arrived the bus had already left and past perfect continuous tense is used to express a past action which started in the past and continued to happen after another action or time in the past only not in the present for example we had been looking for the wallet for 2 hours when suzanne found it moving on to the last perfect continuous tense that is future perfect continuous tense this tense is used to express an action that will have started or will have continued for some time and will still be in progress in future either before a specific moment or before another action takes place for example they will have been flying to london for 4 hours by this time tomorrow another example we will have been cleaning the house all day by the time she returns see children in both these sentences future time reference is given with the words for and all day and also there is a reference to future time now let us see the structure of future perfect continuous tense in case of an assertive sentence the structure is subject plus will or shall plus have been plus first form of the verb plus ing plus object in case of a negative sentence the structure is subject plus will or shall plus have plus not plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing plus object in case of an interrogative sentence helping verb will come first that is will or shall plus subject plus have 
plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing. In case of an interrogative negative sentence, the structure will be will or shall plus subject plus have plus not plus been plus first form of the verb plus ing plus object. Children, please note that with the subjects I or we, we use shall have been. With the subjects you, they, he, she, it, we use will have been. In this slide, there are a few examples of future perfect continuous tense. For example, by the end of November, Jack will have been studying at the university for four years. By next March, we shall have been living here for five years. I shall have been teaching in this college for 20 years by next July. By the end of this year, he will have been acting for 30 years. In this slide, you can see various examples of assertive, negative or interrogative sentences using perfect continuous tense. Kindly read all these sentences. Children kindly observe this slide very carefully as in this slide the rules of all the tenses are given. You can even make this table in your fear notebooks because it will be easy for you to remember the rules if you will use this table. In the previous slide you have seen the rules of all the tenses and now in this slide you can see the examples of all the tenses in different types of sentences whether it is assertive, negative or interrogative sentences. Kindly read all these examples.